Well, Spoons, uh, another clean sheet here at West Hills today and a performance full of guts and desire and a game that at any point in the game we didn't look like losing, really. Hard fault, nil-nil, yeah, absolutely. Um, and as you quite rightly say, two back-to-back, nil-nils, and, and that's a real platform to, to build from. Come under severe pressure in the second half. Um, but as we spoke about in the last game, you know, don't mind that. They have to learn to deal with that, and, and they come through it really well. I don't think I've ever seen a game with so many consecutive corners from one side of the pitch to the other, back to the other and that. And, um, you know, they pinned us right in on the line, and that's very hard to defend it. But uh, as we say, the, the players showed some resolve and desire not to concede, and that's a massive well done to them. Yeah. We did carve out a couple of opportunities, particularly in the second half later on. Jonathan Leco had one, Pharrell Williams as well. I thought mm. that one was going to bend in. Mm. Josh Williams as well. Um, what did you make of our opportunities created? Yeah, it was. I would like to see more of them, that's for sure, to relieve a bit of the pressure. Uh, but I thought at times we, we, we forced the ball in the final third. You know, when you get up the pitch, you. You need to manage the game a little bit better, and uh, I thought there were one or two of the balls that we we'd rather in, in the game they call Hollywood ball, you know, uh, and just instead of just maintaining and keeping their composure and trying to build up a little bit of rhythm and, and change the game because we're under severe pressure, uh, and um, we needed to manage the game a little bit better to stop them keep coming back to us, and you know that's what they wanted. Uh, I'll say they have numerous corners and free kicks and they're building momentum and, and but we stood strong but you know we need to learn that other side when we get up there to, to be a little bit cleverer. Yeah. It's the second game in succession we've seen Brad Mayo in goal. Looks a good player, doesn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, he's technically technically very, very good. And um, he's uh, a good communicator as well. Uh, starting position is very good when we're attacking he knows where to be in his goal and anything over the top he's there ready to, as, a, as a sweeper so yeah he's done very well in the two games and made some excellent saves today. Yeah, that, yes. um, good to see Nico Gordon get some minutes today he's been out with an illness over, over the summer months um, <coughs> important for him to get through the opening 45 and someone I'm sure you know quite well from working with him over the years. Yeah been with him many years now yeah he's a terrific kid lovely to see him back playing now um, yeah, as you say, he's had an illness and uh, and it's it's took so much out of him. You know, he's still got the bulky self back up, but lovely to see him back on the pitch. And uh, and I, I thought he'd done really well for his first game. Yeah, great. Just finally, for the core of younger lads that make up this predominant under-21 setup, we've seen a couple of positive results in in recent weeks. What do they need to do now to really kick on and, and cement their place in this division? Well, they've got to keep on learning to defend like they are. I think we've got to learn to manage games better. But, you know, young lads get a bit impetuous. They see a bit of grass in front of them and they, you know, they're first team staff watching and, and they want to pick out a wonder ball and that. So I think we've got to learn to still manage the game better. No opportunities. When the game changes hands, you know, you're, you're under severe pressure there. Learn just to, to take the sting out of it. You know, even if it's a ball goes out for a throw, don't rush to get it. Just take your time and learn to to calm the game down. So they're, they're things, but you know, that's, that can take years of experience and that, at that. But uh, the, to start with, we had uh, plenty of the ball um, and wasn't always at the tempo we would have liked. We picked the tempo up and we looked better for it, moved them around, uh, but didn't create enough chances. But that's possibly to the fact that they're very well drilled opposition. They're very good. Yeah. Good week all in all, well done, mate. Thanks very much, guys.